just finished blowing out my hair getting ready getting ready to straighten it i have my flat iron hair heating up while we wait for that i want to quickly go over some of the products i used because this video is getting a regimen going right this video is basically me trying to figure out what regimen will work best for this new journey lifestyle i don't know what to call it but um and then we're going to talk about it. We're really going to talk about it because I think we should talk about it. Let's have a dialogue. So anyway, I showed you guys some of the products I use. Last video I posted, no, two videos ago, was in collaboration with Red Ken. I still have those products, still love them, still using them. And so that's what I use for my routine today. Now, the shampoo and conditioner is mainly for like nourishing, softening, moisturizing your hair, which is what you want when you're getting ready to apply heat. You want it to really, really be moisturized so that it, it's more manageable and pliable and you're able to not have to use so much heat to get it to do what you need it to do. However, comma, I do need products that are like repairing and strengthening and things like that. So that's what I'm trying to figure out right now. That being said, <laughs> um, I may dibble and dabble in other types of washer conditioner combos for strengthening the hair and how I switch between moisturizing and strengthening. I don't know how that's going to be. Um, however, as far as styling products, this is a K18 leave-in mask. I've never heard of a leave-in mask before, so this is new to me. Um, it says leave-in molecular repair hair mask. You apply it to your hair. Child, tell me why this said use one pump. But if you must, use four pumps. Child, I said double it. I used eight pumps. So each quadrant of my hair, I used two pumps. So a total of eight pumps because ain't no way. Ain't no way. Four? Okay. So yeah, I used four pumps. And I don't know how I feel about this product because of one reason. And one reason only. It says to put it into your hair comb and um, let sit for four minutes and then you can add other products in style. The first section in the back, I applied it, then I put in my leave-in, then I blew it out and I was like, wait a minute, let me read the directions one more again and figure out how I'm actually supposed to be using this. So what I did was I would apply product on this quadrant then apply products on this quadrant. And by then four minutes had gone back. Then I'll go back here to apply leave-in conditioner and blow it out. And then I'll come here. So I had to like stagger it to make sure I was using this product appropriately. So I don't know, I don't know. That just is like a little bit inconvenient for me, a little bit inconvenient. So anyway, after applying that repairing mask, focusing on the ends of my hair, I went in with this leave-in conditioner, which I love. Again, it was used in a sponsored video two videos ago, uh, two videos ago with a red Ken. It is a all-in-one leave-in conditioner. So it detangles, it moisturizes, it's a heat protectant, it's all of the above. Um, and I love it because it does make blow drying easier because of the detangling properties. And then of course, we love a good heat protectant because we're trying to protect our hair. <laughs> okay. And now, finally, last, but like, it's not the least, last but not least, we have this K18, K K18 hair oil, let me see, hair oil. And so this is supposed to be a molecular repair hair oil. Hmm, it says apply to damp towel dried hair or on dry hair as a finisher, okay, I was like, um start with one to three drops and build as needed oh, I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> um as needed so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna apply it to each quadrant as i straighten my hair 
um, because it is, it's a molecular repair oil, but it's also, it says, ash, it adds shine. Okay, hold on. Let's rewind. Biotech engineered weightless oil fights frizz at two levels. It reduces frizz, smooths flyaways, improves color vibrancy, adds shine, delivers 450 degrees Fahrenheit heat protection. So again, you know I had to double it. Two heat protectants because we're trying to be safe here, we're trying to be safe in these streets. So this oil doubles as a heat protection and hopefully adds more luster shine to my hair. So let's get into straight. All right, flat iron is set to 410 degrees. I'm about to go ahead and yeah, this is what the oil kind of looks like. I'm probably gonna do three, let's do like one, two, three, four, that probably was a bit excessive. So anyway, being, becoming a straight natural. So I wanted to have this conversation because I'm realizing that this is not just a one person experience. I thought that it was just me going through the thoughts that I was thinking when I decided, man, it's either I cut this thing all the way off or I just start a new routine where I'm straightening my hair more often than I typically do. And for multiple reasons, I decided to hold off on cutting my hair and live the straight hair life. Now, before I get into where I stand in all of this, I'm curious to know, drop a comment down below. Do you think you fall in the camp where straightening our hair is an insult to our being as African Americans or as a black person, let me say, because I know not everyone here is an African American. Or do you think it's just hair, like do what you wanna do with your hair? As I mentioned before, for multiple reasons, I've decided to do this. My hair is a lot, okay? My hair is a lot. Ain't no wash and go, ain't no twist out, ain't no braid out. We don't, we just, we're not there anymore. We don't have time for that. Um, rewinding back to when I first went natural, my primary reason was chemically straightening my hair was becoming detrimental to me. Like I would always finish a relaxer session with burnt and scabbed scalp. Like my scalp would be oozing liquid. It would be chemically burned. Like there was nothing I could do. I could apply, um, Vaseline. <coughs> I could apply Vaseline like they would recommend. I could avoid scratching my scalp before the relaxer session like they would recommend. But no matter what I did, I would always end up with a burnt scab. And so when I turned 18, which was when I was given permission to do whatever I, I wanted with my hair, I decided to stop getting a relaxer. I remember my best friend gave me my last relaxer ever. Um, and then I started college and I just never got relaxed for another year. And some of you guys might've already known this story, but I guess I'm giving you guys my hair, my hair story. Um, so yeah, I went like a whole year without getting a relaxer and it got to a point where like my new growth was like getting like overbearing compared to the relaxed ends. And so I had a friend of mine in college literally was sitting in her dorm. I'll insert pictures and videos if I have them and i just told her to just chop off the ends it's time and ever since then i've just been intrigued fascinated and again that's when the whole natural hair um community really started coming up that was 2013. so yeah i was just intrigued i've never experienced i was like i have curls i thought my hair was just like just tough <laughs> I thought my hair was just tough and like difficult to work with. But I was like, wow, if I shampoo my hair well enough, if I use the right products, if I condition, I have like the most beautiful curls and coils and whatever you want to call it. And I just was so 
fascinated. It was like I was rediscovering something about myself that I just had never discovered before. And I think a lot of you may be able to relate with that. So fast forward 10 years later, <laughs> what happened? Hmm? What happened? I think I know what happened. I think we discovered what we needed to discover. We learned how to appreciate and take care of our natural hair. And now we've reached the point where we're like, now, now you have a choice. The choice is not based off of preconceived notions or lessons we've learned um, about ourselves from our parents or our grandparents, but it's, it's an informed decision. Do you know what I mean? Like to straighten my hair now is not because, oh, I hate my curls. I can't stand them. They're ugly. It's, that's not the reason why. The reason why is I understand my hair. I know my hair. I know how to take care of my hair. But because of where I am in life now and the kind of the way my time is set up and, uh, you know, amongst other things, I'm just deciding that this is how I choose to wear my hair. It has nothing to do with me hating my hair. It has nothing to do with me being insecure about my hair. It has nothing to do with me thinking, mm -mm, uh, twist out, braid out, all that stuff is, is not decent. It has nothing to do with that. It's simply a decision based off of, if I'm being quite transparent, convenience. So that is kind of what I have to say about it. Another thing I've noticed, right? is I mentioned earlier that I thought it was just me thinking that dang, something's gotta give. I need to either like chop it all off, find a way to make hair care more convenient, or, you know, just keep it straight again for the sake of convenience. Um, but then I started to notice that other people were kind of saying the same things on social media. And I started to think to myself, ah, am I just following a trend? Is this a trend? Is that every five years, three years, 10 years or whatever, the black hair community goes through a trend and I just happen to be hopping on the bandwagon as well as going on. Um, but the more I thought about it, I just thought we just have shared experiences. We just all go through similar things as we are growing and aging and we have social media to carry those conversations and to share those experiences with each other. So I don't really think that it's just a trend like, oh, we're just all doing this because it's a trend. I think that it just happens to be the same shared experience that everyone is having and now it's become a larger conversation. So anyway, those are just my two cents. Let me know what y'all think in the comments section below. And I'm gonna work on the rest of the sections. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. It does, I'm not gonna lie, it feels a little weighed down. Maybe I did put too much oil. Mm. All right, y'all. I'm noticing that I've had better presses. I have had better presses. So today's combination, that's not, that's not the move. And I have a couple theories, okay? I, the newest thing I added to this routine were the K18 products. So K18 products, you're looking a little sketchy right now. <laughs> I'm joking. I think that the combination just doesn't work. But I think the primary issue, two issues. Number one, I didn't clarify my hair. The Red Ken shampoo is a moisturizing, you know, like nourishing shampoo. After pressing my hair two, three weeks ago, the first thing I should have done was use a clarifying shampoo because heat protectants for the most part, right? Let me see. Let me see the product. Heat protectants for the most part, coconut oil. And does it say no silicones or anything? I need to confirm and I'll put it on the screen if I figure it out, but coconut oil is a main ingredient. And for the, normally a heat protectant adds a layer of like silicone to protect your hair from heat. And so what I think is because I didn't use a clarifying shampoo, some of the remnants of the protection from previously was still on my hair. Cause I feel like it was looking a little stringy. I'm like, why does my hair look a bit oily like i don't i'm not understanding 
The other thing is that I think using two products that are heat protectants, mm, I don't know if it's necessary. That's a theory. That's a theory. The first one I know for sure is likely the issue here today. Second one is a theory. So anyway, we're finished pressing and now I'm going to style it like all right, y'all, that brings us to the end of this video. I'm really looking forward to your comments, to see what y'all have to say, really getting a pulse on the community and how we're really feeling about this topic, okay? It's my news anchor voice. But anyway, this is the final verdict of the hair. As I mentioned, I've had better presses, I have, but this will do for now. Um, you know, we're learning, we're learning. This is a new journey. And as we learn, let's share information. If you have information, put them below. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it's a bit more chatty than I normally am, but I guess I'll see you in my next video. This is.